Hello and welcome back to another uh, continuation of our e-commerce application. Uh, we are going to proceed from where we stopped at in the previous classes and today we are going to work on the user. Previously we worked on adding a single product where we were able to add a product on Firebase. So today we are going to work and uh, the remaining section right now is to present these products. To the users but uh, at this moment we're going to concentrate much more on a user we are going to have two types of a user where we'll have a customer and a what as an administrator uh, because uh, without the users we cannot manage to place the order we cannot manage to know who is the administrator who has the right to access the administration panel to add the uh, to add the products and the rest so once we know the kind of the user that we have then we'll go ahead and do what and um, work with the remaining parts of the application. So that's the main point that we're going to do today. We're going to handle the users. Okay, so let's get started. So in the very first place, we're going to begin with the form of create of signing up. Then after making sure that we can sign up a user or the user can create an account, then we can go ahead and create the form of logging in. And after we'll be able to tell if the user is logged in or not logged in and then after doing that logic then we'll go ahead and um, present now the products in a single page and then after we'll proceed with the remaining pa remaining parts of the what of the project so without wasting much time i'm going just to we'll organize these things later but right now we're just focusing on the uh, appearance of the application so we're going to create the form where the user can sign up okay where the user can do what can sign up so I'm going to create uh, that uh, applic I mean that uh, form and it is going to be on this its own page it's going to be I'm going to call it sign up so I'm going to come here under activity and I'm going to call it new I'm going to call it uh, Java class I mean <coughs> I'm going to go to uh, uh, activity and then I call to empty activity and I'm going to call it uh, sign up sign up okay uh, sign up like sign up activity and then I click on finish okay so this is going to be our activity for signing up okay and then after uh, we're going to put the logic of signing up first of all let us first identify the thing that we need when the user is signing up uh, we may need let us first identify the thing that we may need the, the, when the user is signing up we may need uh, for example uh, the name first name first name okay we may need uh, last name last name and then we may need things like a uh, username I mean okay we need email first we may need username okay email okay and password okay and password and maybe phone number and maybe address okay and address i think these are enough for us to get started with the user hmm? uh, for the basic maybe if you want you can also take a profile photo profile photo for this user in case they want to be setting their own profile photos hmm, what else is necessary hmm, these are the basic eh? gender. gender okay if one tells the user is a male or female okay I think that's in g enough for us to get started the what the user can because I have a lot to do what to take care of. Okay, so after doing that, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll put password. Yes. Okay, maybe we can put the user type to tell uh, if the user is what is a uh, administrator or a regular customer. So that's those are the information that we're going to need to create a what? A user. So before we begin, of course, we have to begin by creating the user what? The user model. So we'll come here to the models. Oh, one more thing that we forgot, very important, is what? His ID. His ID is also going to be here. Okay. So we're going to create the model of a user. So we simply come here to the model and right click on it and then say new and you say Java class. I'm going to call it user model. Okay and then I'll create that Java class. Okay, so I'm going to create these properties and give them to the user, okay? 
let me just cut them here so that uh, so I go ahead and paste these things here uh, okay sorry no here in the what in the user model and then you're going to give the properties of the user whereby we're going to have a public public string with capital letter and then I'm going to have first underscore a name it's going to be by default to be nothing I hate making things to be null because they can end up doing messing up with things okay so we'll go ahead and give the what the last name we'll go ahead and uh, give the email and uh, I'll go ahead and give the what the username and go ahead and give the password mm, this username is unnecessary okay let's just use the email and the password to, the, to identify the user and then we'll go ahead and give the phone underscore number and then we'll go ahead and give the what and the uh, contact or the phone number oh no no contact is already done address of the user and maybe you can have here the bio data of gender the male or female and then you can go ahead and give the profile photo profile photo you can go ahead and give the registration date okay profile photo and okay let's go ahead and give the what the reg date then we'll give, go ahead and give the what the user type user underscore type we go ahead and give the user id i think okay i have to run this t okay i think that's it right uh, so after doing that then we'll go ahead and um, we don't need constructors since these things are what uh public okay so that's it okay so let's go ahead and uh, deal with this in the what in the forms of creating the user okay i already have some forms that uh, i've already created in the previous videos so i'm just going to pick those forms and uh, we implement them here so this is going to be a form for what for signing up i'm going to explain these lines i had prepared them before so if you did not get the point where i get them before for, from i'm going just to explain so that you should be able to understand how to create uh, a form like this one so it's going to be our registration form so this is just nothing but a linear layout okay i'm going to explain every line don't need to worry this is this is just a linear layout with orientation of vertical and it's having height of much parent and um and a width of what of much parent okay so after we have uh, this uh, it is having a scroll i mean an up bar okay this up bar is the one that is where we expanded to be a little bit wide in this kind of design so it is just an up bar so to create this up bar is just simple just rub everything and just write the last class name up bar layout and then android studio will suggest for you everything press enter and it will do for you the remaining things then i'll give it width of much parent height of wrap content and uh, i give it gravity of center and i give it a minimum height of 220 dp and then i got this up bar then inside that up bar i put a linear layout okay so it's a linear layout which is having width of much parent height of wrap content and uh, margin left of 60 dp margin right 60 dp and i have orientation of vertical and i have the layout behavior with the upper scroll view behavior but this is an option you can as well remove it but you can as well add it it's up, up to you okay then you have a text inside there this is the main heading which is having a layout of much i mean uh, the text of layout with drop content and hate you can pause the video and look at these things okay you can pause the video and look at this thing because it makes no point to explain everything since at this level okay at least level you're already somewhere so you can pause the video and look at these lines okay so here i'm going to change this title to what to register so sign up okay and then i can put here a welcoming message okay uh for our company how can i name it um by i mean 
join a thousand of other happy online customers then a thousand of other of our then a thousand of our other happy online customers that is our tagline you can also forge your own okay so this is my tagline okay so you can put there a logo if you want so we are having here the linear layout you see I have here and after the up bar I have the linear layout and this linear layout is having a match parent of height and match parent of width and it's having gravity of center horizontal inside this linear layout I have a progress bar this progress bar I'll be displaying it of course I'll be displaying it when I'm registering the user and uh, I have here a scroll view that is containing the entire form so I'll be uh, hiding this one when I'm registering the user okay so we're having here a relative what a relative layout this relative layout is the one that can make things to be centered as well you see these ones okay so in this relative layout we're having uh, a linear layout you can pause the video and look at these things okay linear layout you can see the attribute of linear layout and then hit side this linear layout this is where we're having these fields of um, uh, text uh, input layout and having the edit text and you can see the attribute of edit text and the remaining things are repeatedly are repeatable you just repeat 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 this thing and this is nothing but a what but a button at the last okay so just pause the video and look at these pieces of code let me just do like this so that you can look at this piece of code ta, ta, let me begin from top begin from there okay so there it's i hope you, you're okay with it you can also make your own design you're free to do your own design okay so let's go ahead and change this one to make our own things that we want since it's a scroll it's a scroll uh, it is having a scroll view it means that uh, the user can also uh, scroll these things in case they become too much on a single form okay so what do you need first here we need uh, actually we would have used the sign up one because the sign up one is modified for signing up let's see the sign up it's having a few okay no problem we'll just reduce on this height okay so what do we need we need uh, <coughs> we need uh, the, the name the first name and last name okay I'm going to be a little bit faster here so I'll collapse this one this one and I'm going to duplicate it so I can make it a little bit faster okay okay so we begin with this this is going to be the what the first name and I'm going to name this one the ID to be uh, first name view name view okay so that is straightforward I'll just do uh, collapse this one and duplicate it and then we'll have a last name it's going to be uh, last name view so bo boring repetitive thing last name and uh, we can as well put these things in a single layout okay let me show you how we can merge these things together so what i can do here i can do simply uh, i think they can leave it there yeah you can just yeah. oh, they're having a lot of, okay can just do a linear layout of width match parent and height of wrap content and then we give it orientation of our horizontal and then inside this horizontal we give these two first name and last name just cut them and put them in this linear layout and just give them what we give them weights okay give them width weight okay so just give them here the first field give it a weight layout weight of one and this one a layout weight the second one a layout weight of one and then you can see they are separated then between here can put a view that's going to separate these two just simply write like this a view is going to be having a width of maybe 5 dp 
5 dp and height of maybe wrap content And then close it so this view to separate these two okay what okay you can separate these two come give it background it's supposed to be capital v or capital small v okay small v i think yeah. i hope that's the view that do separate things okay and i'm seeing something that i don't understand here okay it's not resolved so result supposed to be the view of a class of a capital V. Okay, it's not okay. So that view is going to separate just these two. Okay, it's going to separate these two. So this one is going to supposed to have uh, the height of wrap content. Things are supposed to have the height of wrap content. Wrap content. Uh, wrap content. And this one wrap content. And this one wrap content. So I don't know why they are doing the match the height of match parent i don't know why they're matching parent okay so if i collapse this one i don't know why they're matching parent let me give this skip anything orientation okay let us give here width of zero dp width of zdp and weight of one and this one also this second one gift of width of zero dp and eight of one yeah no